Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you a really useful Google service called Google Backup and Sync. And what Backup and Sync does is it takes your computer, your PC or your Mac, and it takes the information on there that you have, like if you have stuff on the desktop or in different folders, and automatically backs them up to the cloud on Google Drive. So what's useful about that is if you ever lose something on your computer, if your computer hard drive fails, it's backed up automatically. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up. And to access Google Backup and Sync, just go ahead and go to this website here. I'll put it in the description below, basically google.com slash drive slash download. Now let me explain something that I found a bit confusing here. There are two versions of Google Backup and Sync depending on if you're just an individual person and doing this for personal reasons, or if you have the Google Workspace and you're doing this for work. Now, for some reason, they're not called the same thing. The personal one is called Backup and Sync, and that's what I'm covering in this video. But the other one is actually just called Google Drive and Google Drive File Stream. So I'll cover this one in a different video, although it's almost the same process. So this one, even if you're doing this for work with Google Workspace, should work. But let me just show you the difference here too. Now, I just went inside of my Google Drive, drive.google.com. If you come here and you don't have one, you could just create a Google Drive. Again, this is separate than backup and sync, but you do need a Google Drive. And let me show you Google Drive for Google Workspace. This is a paid version. It looks almost the same, but you see that Google logo up there. It's a little bit different. So on the personal Google Drive, you could get Google Backup and Sync by pressing this icon right here and get Backup and Sync. And it's gonna say for PC or Mac, depending on what computer you're using. On the Workspace, again, I don't wanna confuse you, the Workspace, this is a whole different Google Drive account that I'm paying for. The other one is free. But if you press this same icon, it's Google Drive for desktop, okay? Just the difference between the two and the naming. Back to this, so all you have to worry about right now is go to google.com slash drive slash download, and you wanna get backup and sync for your Mac or PC. That's really step one. The other stuff I just wanna show you to kind of clarify between the two different services. And you'll have to go ahead and download this to your computer because this is how this works. It needs to have access to your computer in order to back things up. So I'll just go ahead and open that file that downloaded down here and I need to take it into my application folder. Again, a little bit different if you're on a PC, but the actual application is pretty much the same. And I'll go to my application folder and open up backup and sync. And I give it all the access it asked for. Let me go ahead and press get started. And I do need to log into the Google account. So I did have to sign into Google here so use the same Google account where you want everything to be backed up to. So I'm gonna use my personal Google account here. Okay, then it's gonna show me this folder. And by the way, if you ever lose this window on Mac, it's just up here. It's this icon that should appear on here. On a PC, it's just in the bottom right corner, just like all these icons on Mac show up on top. On PC, they show up on the bottom. So make sure you click that to get this window back if you ever lose this window. Now here, it's gonna show your computer and it's gonna ask you, what do you want to back up? By default, your desktop, everything on your desktop will appear, your documents and your pictures will appear too. You could check any of these off. I actually use Google Photos for pictures, so I don't really have any pictures on my computer, but Google Photo is a really good service. You could learn more about it here. I do have a complete tutorial on this as well. Then what if you wanted to back up more files here? So you choose another folder that doesn't appear by default. So literally anything from your download folder, documents folder, anything you want, you could go ahead and select it and then open it and then it will be added to here. So in this case, 22 more gigabytes is gonna be added, which is actually more than the free Google Drive storage they give you. So I have to pay for extra space. So I'm not gonna back this up right now. Then with photos and videos, you could do original quality. This is gonna take up more space or high quality, which reduces the file size. And you shouldn't really notice the difference unless you're a photographer and you really need the full resolution here. And you could go ahead and upload to photo here, Google photo here. I use my phone's app for Google photo, so I'm gonna ignore this here and press next. And finally, it's gonna sync files from my drive to a folder on this computer, okay? so. This is how it's gonna work. It's gonna sync my drive to this computer. I make sure this is checked on. And it says sync everything on my drive. Okay, that's good, that's what I want. 
and I'm going to press start and I'm going to give it access here if it's going to ask for that. And you should get a couple of pop-ups here. It's just telling you what's going on. And there is a new folder here now called Google Drive. And it's going to show up on your PC too. And I have other things like Dropbox. It's a different service that does this kind of thing. You have OneDrive from Microsoft that does this kind of thing. I have iCloud. That's the Mac version for this kind of thing. You see, this is moving these arrows again on a PC. It's on the bottom. But what it's doing is it's basically putting everything from my Google Drive over here and is syncing up everything from my computer to Google Drive. So this is a great way every time I want to access something from Google Drive, I could do it right from here and not jump into the website Google Drive. Now, if I go to drive.google.com and log into that same platform, now I have this tab called Computers. And if I click it, it's going to show me the backup from that Mac. This is the new one I just set up. So if I double click this, it's going to show me those files that I just backed up. Now, as soon as this syncs up, if I go to desktop, I will see everything on my computer's desktop in this folder in the cloud. Okay, so that's really, really useful. But you could see it's got a ways to go here because I have a lot of files that is actually taken from my Google Drive to my computer. Now, as you see, some of these are going to get this green check mark next to them. That means they're synced. That means they're on your computer, on this folder on your computer, and they're also backed up to Google Drive. And if you right click on any of them, you could directly view it here and it will open up Google Drive for you on the website and you could share using Google Drive or just copy the link. Now they have a link associated to these files to make them easier to share. So if I just go copy link, it just copies it to my clipboard and I could paste it in an email, for example, really, really easy to use. So I waited about an hour for everything to sync up here. I'm on fiber internet, so it kind of went fast, but 10 gigabytes of information was added and I have a five left because it's 15 total. So you could see that over here, but it sank all my Google photos too, because I use the same Gmail account here for my Google photos. But if I go to computer now, and again, you could have multiple computers here too. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but you could jump in. And now if I click on desktop, everything on my desktop is now on Google Drive. I didn't actually drag and drop these to Google Drive. This automatic backup and sync did that for me. So let me show you my desktop here. So all this right here is also over here now. And look at this though. I just want to point this out because if you delete something from here, or from here, it will replicate it, it will mirror it. So if I just go ahead and delete this, okay, I'll just go ahead and press delete, move to trash. And if I go to Google Drive now and give it a second, okay, as soon as the sync is done, it should give me a pop up message. And this file, I just deleted this on my desktop. See, it says it wants to remove it from Google Drive. Okay, so I could press restore to put it back or press remove. And if I press remove, I will lose it on Google Drive as well. See, it just disappeared in a second, okay? Same thing, if I choose one here, if I choose this file here, press delete. If I go back to my desktop now right here, it's gonna actually disappear from there. So this is the file that I just deleted. Let me give it a second, look at that. If I press remove, it's gonna disappear from there. So just be careful, they are synced up, which is good, that means they're on two locations on your internal hard drive on your computer and on Google Drive because of backup and sync. But whatever you do in one happens in the other one. Okay, so that's what I want you to pay attention to. But they do end up in trash. So if you go to your trash bin here, those will be in your trash. But every 30 days, this trash gets emptied out. So make sure you know that because you won't permanently keep them in the trash can. So now after this sync is done, it's going to take a while here, especially if you have a lot of photos and you chose to back up the Google Photos too. If you do this now, anytime you create something on the desktop of your computer, as long as you sync that to Google Drive, it will duplicate it in the cloud and make a backup version of it there. But it does sync up. So when you delete something on your desktop, it does delete there too. But it will protect you from hard drive failure. It will give you some version history. A lot of different advanced features that I'll cover in upcoming videos too. But Google Drive Backup and Sync is one of my favorite things out there from Google that's completely free to use for personal use. And you could use it for Google Workspace that I'll cover in the next upcoming video. Thanks so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.